ever wondered just how many real horses it would take to outperform a modern semi-truck? You might think, well, 600 horsepower must correspond to 600 horses, but that's not quite right, because there's much more behind it. So, saddle up and let's explore the math and muscle behind this intriguing question. But before we tackle this question, let's get back to basics. What exactly is horsepower, and how do we measure it? The term horsepower has its origins in the work of James Watt, an 18th century Scottish engineer. Watt sought to market his improved steam engine, but to make its power more relatable to the public, he needed a comparison. Watt observed horses turning mill wheels and calculated the work a horse could do over time, and then established the unit of horsepower to express the power of his steam engines in a way people could understand. Watt initially defined one horsepower as the ability to do 550 foot-pounds of work per second. This means that an engine with a power output of one horsepower could lift a 550-pound weight one foot in one second. However, Watt's experiment with horses is over 100 years old, and has been questioned by historians. It's believed by some to be more of a marketing ploy than an accurate scientific measurement. That leaves us with the question, how much horsepower does a living horse possess? That was exactly the question the YouTube channel Donut asked itself and chose to investigate. After a series of experiments involving building a unique horse dyno with the help of engineers, testing the rig with human poles, and finally getting a horse to pull the dyno, they were able to determine that one average horse has the equivalent of about 5.7 horsepower. Okay, so if a real horse has the equivalent of about 5.7 horsepower, it would take approximately 106 real horses to theoretically outperform a truck with 600 horsepower, assuming the conversion factor of one horse to 5.7 horsepower. But wait a second, why is it that a semi-truck with 600 horsepower is able to pull more than 80,000 pounds from standstill to over 50 miles per hour, when a 600 horsepower Lamborghini can't. Let's take a look at it. Horsepower and torque are both measures of engine power, but they represent different aspects of power delivery. Horsepower is a measure of the rate at which an engine can do work, while torque is a measure of the twisting force that an engine can exert. In general, truck engines are designed to produce high torque at low RPM while car engines are designed to produce high horsepower at high RPM. This is because trucks typically need to pull heavy loads, which requires a lot of torque at low RPM to get the load moving. Cars, on the other hand, are typically more concerned with top speed and acceleration, which are better achieved with high horsepower at high RPM. As a result, a truck with 600 horsepower will typically have much more torque than a car with 600 horsepower. For example, a semi-truck with a 600-horsepower engine might have 2,050 pound-feet of torque, while a high-performance sports car with a 600-horsepower engine might only have around 650 pound-feet of torque. So, in order to perform as a truck, the horses must be able to move 80,000 pounds. Let's do the math. When converting weight from pounds to force in pounds, 32,174 pound-feet is required to move 80,000 pounds. Let's assume a horse can deliver around between 30 and 40 pound-feet, then it would require between 804 and 1,073 horses to pull this massive load. That's a lot of horses. Just imagine maneuvering, coordinating, feeding, and caring for that many horses. However, most trucks can move a lot more than 80,000 pounds, so it would be fair to say that it would probably require a lot more than 1,000 horses to outperform a single truck. But in the real world, it's not just about the horsepower. It's about efficiency, coordination, and practicality. While the horsepower of a group of horses might technically surpass that of a truck at some point, there are significant challenges in harnessing this power effectively. Horses are living beings with their own strengths and limitations. Coordinating them to work as a team, pulling a heavy load efficiently, is a complex task. The truck, on the other hand, is a precisely engineered machine designed for maximum efficiency. So, it's probably a good thing that we have evolved so much that we are no longer dependent on animals to transport our goods. 
but can use our large trucks. And there you have it folks. While the horses showcase their incredible strength, the semi-truck ultimately proved its worth with precision and efficiency. It's a testament to the advancements in engineering that have shaped our modern world. Thanks for joining us on this horsepower adventure. If you enjoyed the ride, be sure to hit that like button. And let us know in the comments what other horsepower mysteries you'd like us to unravel. If you want to know more about truck engines, this next video might just be for you. Until next time, keep horsing around and stay curious.